Hello, y'all. It is Friday. Uh oh. And where is my stick? Look like I might not be doing a video for y'all today. Oh, there you go. So I'm at Milan Laser for my fourth laser hair removal session. And y'all know I normally come on every five weeks on Thursday. But. I forgot what why we had to postpone it. Oh, because um, five weeks out, they didn't have no decent time. Like yesterday, the they had like three something in the afternoon or four something in the afternoon for what I remember five weeks ago. So I said, uh uh, I can't. I, I I like to get this done out of the way in the morning. So if I still want to dash, well, I didn't tell them all that part. But if I still want to do my door dash and whatnot, I can. So, yeah, they had Friday for 10. It's 9.54 now. I'm about to get ready to go in. This time, honey, I'm glad I saved these pills. I never threw them away because I knew it might be a day where I might need these. Now, this goes to show how Diva Wan does not take, you know, pills like that. I still got my pain pills from when I went to the dentist last year. Y'all remember when I was getting these teeth done? And they hooked me up with these ibuprofens and shit. I still got damn near a full bottle after all this time. So it pays to save your pills for situations like this. Because they said, you know, to ease the pain, you know, to take an ibuprofen or something, you know, upwards of a half hour before. So that's what I went and did. So hopefully that works, y'all. <laughs> But that is basically it. This is going to be a short one today. Hell, I might not even put this on the vlog channel because of how short this is. I might just keep this on the Diva Natural Wand channel. There's so much to tell y'all. However, I want to save it for a live stream. I'm just thinking about what day can I do a live stream? Surprisingly, June is like my first month in a minute where I didn't do a live stream for the month. I was I was getting good to the point where I was at least getting one live stream out per month or two on average. Honey, catch me on a very good month. You might get three or four. <laughs> but yeah, y'all. It's a lot to talk about. I'm just trying to figure out what day I can doggone comfortably mention it. But anyways, let's get on in here and get ready to get to this laser hair removal. Oh, I don't like how this water is out here, though. I'm about to show y'all in a minute. Like the parking is darn going ridiculous today. That's the only thing about this Durgon area is the Durgon parking, which is normally not a problem. I'm normally always able to find a park, but in this case, I wasn't hardly able to able to find a park except in this wet spot. So it's like, hi, huh, damn. Y'all about to see what I'm talking about right now. Y'all see this water on the ground. Like, damn. And it's like, it ain't nowhere else but right here. But this was the only parking spot, so I got to deal with it. These are not the type of shoes to get wet like this. Especially on the top because it got that breathable. It got that breathable material that water can get through easily. They're excellent running shoes, but they do not make good for weather like this. Damn. I wonder why the water just sits right in this area, y'all. Y'all see how everything, everywhere else is just dry, but there are certain areas where the water just sits. Like, what causes the water to sit like that? Anyways, 
I ain't about to figure out. Let me go on here and get in here and get to my appointment. Oh, yeah, at least a half hour. Um, but um, I will kind of yeah, a whole 20 minutes. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. 20 minutes, is that a good thing? I ain't going back. Because <laughs> <laughs> normally it's like 10 people, minutes. Right, because sometimes people just want to get through it. I can do your face in five minutes, but can you tolerate the pain of me doing your uh, face in five minutes? You know what I'm mean? saying? We'll go with the flow. <laughs> you going with the flow? Deal. All right. Here we go. Face looks good. Relax, relax, relax. Yeah. Now, I did have one ingrown. Is that going to interfere? No, uh uh. Look what you had. No, I did hit it with some high frequency yesterday to calm it down. <laughs> what high frequency? What? My like high a, like frequency. Little thing, uh, uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. We're doing your forehead, right? Well, is there the any? Eyes? Oh, yeah. yeah. Which of your songs which one is Which one is Alright. Let's get started. Hopefully, because you have less follicles, it won't be as bad this time. Okay. If it's too much to handle, please let me know because I will take it down a notch, okay? Okay. You're getting good results, so I'm not, I'm not uh, concerned that we're not moving uh, fast enough, you know? Okay. That's Are you editing daily every time you do something or you're just kind of compiling it all together? Oh no, editing it per um, session. Per session, okay. Go ahead and touch your lip on the bottom. There we go. So what's next after hair removal? Mm -hmm. After hair removal, mm -hmm. probably finally start the hormones. Hold on. Mm, I just thought about doing um, Doing, look, look up for me. Doing a uh, like a journey of my my weight loss journey, oh, okay. and then up to my body surgery. <laughs> I wanted to do it. My friend was like, "But you're gonna have to be editing all the time, and I don't think you have time for that." But I really want to do it. Maybe I can like hire somebody to do it for me. You know what I'm saying? It's not that hard if you just um, syncing the clips together. Syncing clips together. Okay. And so do you have to have like a special software to do that? Most simple softwares can do hell. You can even do it from your phone nowadays. Really? Okay. If you just um, splice and clips together. Okay. okay. With me, it gets a little bit more difficult because sometimes I do videos where music has to be put in, uh -huh. pictures, yeah, like and then side by side video within a video. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now, this is what you do on a, for, for work? For school? You went to school for this? Oh no, this is just a hobby. It's just a hobby. Oh, okay, okay. Oh no, I'm an institution by trade. You are? Where you work at? I'm self-employed right now. Really? <laughs> by way of the pandemic. We well, getting I mean, back when, in when slowly. Gonna, like, when are you going to get back into it? I need some facials. I need some. See, I'm thinking about what I'm going, where I'm going to be in North Carolina because I was really good. Where I want to go, so you're gonna stay here. My homegirl was like, You're gonna make a lot more money in Fayetteville. Um, just because there's a need for black. Um, oh, yeah. Because, uh, like I said, hair. I was searching for the longest. Yeah, there's a, there's a big need for it. Um, so, I mean, I, I, I really like this company, but eventually you have to kind of do your own thing. And I can do so much more than this laser hair removal. So, yeah, I need to. This is the easy part of, of what I can do, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, I need to make all money. But, I mean, 
my thing was I wanted to do like a whole face thing, you know, eyelashes, facials, okay. eyebrows, um, Botox, fillers, um, laser treatments on the face for hyperpigmentation. Okay. Like, yep, that's what that. I was also looking for, yeah. possibly next. Um, doing threads, like the, the non-surgical facelifts, doing all that. I got quite a few stubborn discolorations that right. I cannot do with just regular chemicals. And let me tell you, I will say that the, because there's such, there's, there's not, no, really nobody in the area that does it a whole bunch, that they make it really expensive. Mm -hmm. And it's not that expensive, but when they see that there's a need, the prices, you know, you know, they go all the way up. Yep. So, but I, I thought about doing that. And then uh, stretch marks, um, So y'all saw that she actually got done faster that time than um, normally. So before I even moved this car, I got my Sarcadia. And y'all know how hard it is for white to pick up on camera. I'm going to put on my Sarcadia SPF. And once again, this is heavily concentrated because I know somebody going to be looking like why is you putting on these little tiny dots? Because y'all so used to people just smather, you know, slaughtering and <laughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Smothering. That's what I'm uh, I'm looking for. Uh, so many people just ch -ch 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 smother a whole bunch of sunblock on their face, but this you do not need that much. This is very concentrated. Hell for the price, it's starting on thing retails for like sixty some dollars. So yeah, it, it's not your regular five dollar sunscreen at the darn going store this got all types of astrats and lemon peels and everything else up in here as well to help out with other stuff very moisturizing to the skin which is what i needed in a sunscreen because of the fact that i suffer from eczema also i needed something that was color friendly because i'm black and i'm dark skinned black and anything you know with black people you know that sunblock typically has that ugly color on our skin it just make it's just not photo friendly it typically darn on looks purple gives that ugly purple cast on our skin i do not get that with this also unlike uh stuff like image because y'all know i used to rock with image for a minute Image used to make my darn going body smell like fish. I don't know what it is, and I ain't talking about like a, because y'all know when, when a, a trans person say fish, sometimes y'all think we talking about women. I'm talking about literally, it, it made me smell like either fish or that time of the month, like a, a period. And I was like, what in the hell? Y'all remember those videos back in the day where I had on the, uh, the sunscreen and it just did not agree with my body chemistry? And it just made me smell like the time of the month. And I was like, oh, hell no. Or I'm like, and then the bad time of the month. I was like, girl, uh-uh, this, this ain't hit. But now I know the secret. Honey, I will be taking these ibuprofens every time, child. I will be taking it every darn gone time. She was not kidding though when she said that she actually does service quite a bit of the community. Cause there was two people of the, of the community, honey, that was in there, black people of the community, including the fellow trans woman. The way further along in my transition than I am, honey. Here I am still giving duties. <laughs> you know, I'm giving darn going 
flatsy patsy darn going Grace Jones like tea. she giving more so uh, Alicia from darn going uh, chasing LA matter of fact she actually reminds me of the other girl from chasing Atlanta but yeah y'all we was able to have a whole conversation and everything I had to you know I had to blur um well I didn't do it right then and there but obviously in editing when y'all look at this back um I had to censor certain parts of the conversation out or whatnot but I found out that like uh she is qualified to do a lot more than this because I was actually wondering about that I was like you know with her being a whole nurse or whatnot it's quite surprising that she's just doing only laser but you know this the business that you know she's part of a business franchise that only does laser hair removal but yeah with her being a nurse she can do the um the laser removal for skin discoloration and see that's what i'm really looking for somebody so i can't wait until she get her own practice honey i'm definitely going to follow her right there honey <laughs> Cause now I don't need the Botox and all that. She can do the Botox, the fillers, the face lifts. And I was like, oh, she, she got a plastic surgery. She got a little bit of plastic surgery background as well. I don't know. Maybe she can help me out with the scars if I end up getting um under the muscle um breast implants. I might. I'm more likely to go through the um, underarm, but even then, I'm gonna need to get rid of that uh, scarring area especially when I start doing laser in that area because this will be my next area is the underarms because child that's what we can afford right now <laughs> if y'all want to if y'all want Diva Wine to get more to the larger body parts honey y'all y'all feel free to put five on it in the cash app you got five on it you got five you got five on but yeah, until then, we want to elevate up slowly. Because everywhere else, pretty much, I can get darn on um, wax, and that, that'll be okay. And my the way that my body reacts to waxing, <clears throat> if I was more consistent with it, my hair reduction goes down significantly if I just wax often enough. But the sec, um, this underarm hair is just so thick. We can go on here and get rid of that area next. Now, I'm still on the fence about the private child. I'm not trying to have my private area darn on, uh, smelling like darn on burnt <laughs> bacon bits and all, no, you know. So, I, and then it's like, oh Lord, and then Lord knows, I ain't trying to get no hypopigmentation or anything. So, I'm still on the fence about whether I'm going to actually get downstairs done. I, I really am. But at the same time, it's so hard to find a decent esthetician that I can trust that I can get my darn old stuff done. You know, in fact, and once again, as soon as I find somebody, some shit always go damn wrong. I finally found somebody close to, uh, uh, towards downtown Fayetteville they got go. Then I found somebody else that was just becoming an esthetician. She can't pass state board to save her life. I was like, hi, damn. I told the owner, I said, shit, have her message me. I'll help you get what to do with state board. And then I think her problem is, is the theory. That's what even more confusing because she passed the darn on physical with flying colors. But she can't go, she can't get the, um, through that um, theory exam to save her life. So, it's like, honey, if you ever come across this video, child, I will help you darn on past state board, honey. Because it is so extremely difficult to find somebody to do efficient, you know, waxing of the male anatomy. And you know the gag is she was better than the darn going first person who has a couple years of more experience of owner. So she definitely had the skills down pat. But now it's to the point where it's, it's like I'm old with shit. I might as well go in and get that laser two child.
But yeah, y'all, I got to get off on my game. I'm so darn going. I keep getting so embarrassed when every time somebody asks me where I work at, I got to darn on avoid the question because I am still darn on traveling to people making house calls five years in. And I know this ain't my, I know I ain't the only one with this story. And you know, most of us go through this where we struggle within the first five years. And hell, some of it even within 10 years. But hell, I ain't trying to have that damn story. Cause I ain't trying to go do nothing else. I just read an article this morning before getting here that, you know, North Carolina do not seem to be budging at all on trying to give a restaurant workers a fair wage. Yet they want to try to get people in with these temporary bonuses and shit. And it's like that ain't helping people out in the grand scheme of things. And then it seems like they still picky at that because hell, I at least applied for some of the damn jobs. And they hell they didn't even get me in there. So it's like I don't see what they be talking about where they say people be getting gift cards and shit just to get to the interview. I was like, well, hell, it ain't on this side of the damn town. I ain't darn gonna get shit. Ooh, would not be deeper wanted. Hell, we ain't even darn gonna dash in the day. Honey, we done seen two trade, honey. I guess that makes up for darn on yesterday. Yesterday. For my people who watch my DoorDash vlogs, y'all know what I'm talking about. Whenever I do my DoorDash vlogs, it's a running joke that, you know, D1 either comes across some sort of scandal on the road, or we always see hot trade in the Mr. Darn on deliveries. So if you're not um, subscribed to the D1 channel, you definitely go ahead and subscribe if you want to see all the foolishness and shenanigans that tends to go on in my daily life. But over here, we tend to keep it professional for the most part, you know, skincare related. But in these vlogs, y'all get a, just a little bit of what Diva Wan, you know, goes to. But yeah, y'all, that is that. Like I said, I got to step my game up. I really do. This is why I'm hoping that this darn on 1-800 number that called me this morning might be the lottery. Because I still don't know what phone number they're going to call you from. They should have put that on the news. Like they, they told the name of the organization they're supposed to call you NCH something something another. But it's like, does it come up on your caller ID? Like, if you get an email, does it have an official seal? Because I imagine it being from the government. It's like, if I'm going to get an official seal email, because you know, I would imagine that scammers will take advantage of something like this and they're going to act like they for the government. And hell, some of these folks are getting a little bit more um, convincing with they darn going um, scams or whatnot. Because you got some Americans up on this shit too. It's no longer the obvious Asian, Korean, Indian person. Uh, Jamaican, uh, Nigerian, you you got somebody now with American accent be on the phone playing games with you. And Lord knows I was already a victim of credit card theft, you know, just a couple months back. I still don't know how they got my credit card number. But honey, they call themselves racking on up, honey. Thank goodness for that fraud potential. After the up team purchase, honey, Credit One Bank called me. They was like, girl, we approved these first few, but now you you in the negative. I said, what? Hold up now. Hold up. Wait a minute. What? Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And that's when my darn on balance was low. I was like, bitch, what are you talking about? Uh, I'm in the negative. Bitch, I got a $2,000 limit, and I'm only spent about four cents. Five hundred dollars, borderline pushing six hundred. What the world you mean? I'm supposed to have over a thousand dollars on this move. Talking about somebody went to town on my damn card, y'all. 
buying up $300 skincare and everything. I was like, bitch, I don't even have $300 skincare. And I'm a whole life esthetician out this bitch. What the hell you talking about? I get to looking. Oh, they done brought some LaBelle and all this good stuff. I said, oh, must be not. I should have pressed the damn issue. I should have had them darn gonna send me, uh, they should have sent me that IP address or whatnot. I don't know why. I, I was going through something else where, they, they, and they told me that, you know, they was able to reverse all the charges or whatnot. But, honey, I should have took the extra step to get that IP address and report it to the FBI. Especially since it was in a whole different state of address. That's what really uh, drew a red flag is because they can see when I check my balance uh, where I'm logged in from, right? So it's like, okay, this bitch is logging in from North Carolina. She hasn't appeared to left the state, but somehow somebody is entering her card information from, I think they said Georgia, if I'm not mistaken. So entering my card information from Georgia now, who is this motherfucker blocking my whole driveway? Well, y'all, we're going to go on down. <laughs> because somebody is clearly blocking my driveway. Like, just no coof at all. Like, they literally just blocked the whole driveway. What, what type of shit is this? See, this is why I got to get away from these neighbors. I mean, this is just fucking unprofessional. Just just no tact at all. It's like it's already bad enough we got this fucked up darn on uh rinky deep dirt road driveway. It's like the landlord ain't gonna pay the shit worth a damn. Hell we can't even get her to darn on fix no darn on simple plumbing issues. I had to darn on pressure wash and clean my own damn house to the best of my ability and I'm trying to search for a ladder to get to the top part of the house to bleach and darn gonna clean it down. <laughs> but see, this is all stuff that y'all learn on the Devo Wan channel about, you know, this type of situation. But yeah, y'all. That's what's been going on. Like I said, hopefully this 800 number that I've seen is darn going the lottery winner said, you don't got your million dollars, girl. Where we about to darn go uh, send this to, honey? Give us your right number. Not your darn on bank account. See, now if they ask for the bank account number, you know it's a scam. They don't ever supposed to ask for your bank account number. They only need that right number. Go ahead and wrap me that money. Send me the money, money, money. Send me the money, money, money. Come on ahead. But yeah, honey. Go on ahead and send me the darn on money. Go get the money. Go get the money. Hey. Let it clear in that bank for two weeks. Although I would think by it coming from the government that it shouldn't even be a hold on it. But I think they still hold it regardless. I think whenever you have over $10,000 at one time in your bank account and you're not used to having that large influx of money in your account, it triggers an alert. But I would think they would override that alert, though, if they can see that, you know, it's actually being deposited by the United States government. Or in this case, the North Carolina state government because, you know, it's the lottery winning. Oh, they done built another house over there, child. Oh, and they done painted that one. Oh, and that used to be my childhood. They tore down my childhood home. Y'all remember one point in time I used to live in a house. But wow, y'all, they done built a, a little house over there. Childhood memories, y'all. Going down this street. So many of the houses on been torn down. They done built some new ones all up. Oh, I remember Miss Gladys used to live over there. Honey, everybody have a black woman darn on name Gladys in their life. A black woman named Gladys and a darn on Uncle Boo. They done tore down that house. Tore down this house. 
Child, they need to go on here to tear down this house. Ain't nobody been in there since I was like 10 years old, honey. And I'm now damn near 30. House been vacant for 20 years. And I don't even know why they had that church there. Don't nobody ever be in that church, child. I know they look like, child... It's a cold day in hell. Deep enough to came down this area. Oh, they adding on to that one right there. Ooh, Lord. Ooh, ooh, they need to condemn that one. Ooh, chat. And then they have a little shop right here. But hell, with all this right here, see, I'm not picky necessarily by location. You got to start off where you can get in. But it's like, oh, no. This show enough looks like you in the boondocks when you go down this street. Honey. And then they don't got no parking right there in the front. You got to park right there on the side of the street. It's like, uh-uh. See, that's why that business stays vacant right there. Ain't nobody put a hair salon or nothing in that um, area since I was like 12, 13 years old because of that issue. Now, my girl who used to own this business next to the dry cleaners, that's not an ideal location either. But... You know, at least it got some parking and stuff. And I can do what it do. Is there a dog in the... Come on, doggy. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Child. A whole little chihuahua in the middle of the damn road. Oh, my goodness. A Taco Bell dog, honey. It just wasn't going to move either. I wish y'all could have saw that shit. See, maybe it was meant for me to turn around and darn gonna give y'all a little bit of light commentary for the day. A whole damn Taco Bell Chihuahua is just sitting in the middle of the street and like he just owned the shit. Once again, just right here, like he on a private neighborhood street. You on the main road, um, dog. But anyways, let's see if they don't move this car. Okay, they don't finally move this car. Okay. Uh oh, somebody doing the white tootsie roll. Okay. Child, I hope she ain't. <laughs> you know, as I'm talking about these darn old lottery winners, bitch, I hope she ain't won the damn money. Uh uh. I need to be winning the damn money, child. She over there, dog. I tell y'all, it's never a dull day in this side of town, but I'm waiting, I'm waiting to get away from this shit, though, at the same time, because this is ridiculous. I had to literally go all the way back around the block and around the neighborhoods and shit just to darn on, get back into my parking lot, because they want to block the whole... And then, see, this is the thing. They could have just drove a little bit up or just right here next to the mailbox. There was no reason... See, this is the intentional bullshit. Like, you specifically parked dead smack in the darn gone driveway to prevent me from coming in. See, that's that petty shit. That's that stupid shit that I just don't understand. But hopefully I don't have to worry about it much longer. But yeah, y'all, this is the end of my vlog. Y'all came here to see my laser hair removal. And y'all and just like per usual, y'all end up getting a whole lot more. But yeah, like I said, y'all, we got a lot of work to do. I got to finally go on here and get me a solid location. But what I'm doing now is I'm building my clientele back up in North Carolina. And, you know, starting to um, search out locations that I can possibly rent and we'll go on from there. I need to really look into, like, business plans and stuff and talk with um, how how do you go by constructing. Oh, y'all, damn, I got the burps real bad, y'all. But I need to talk with, like, a few esthetician owners of their businesses, like, 
how do you go by like constructing the how how does that work about you know getting the wiring and stuff in for the um place uh getting the sinks and stuff like what type of you know loans and stuff that you seek out with that especially with us being like in a high risk industry a lot of banks don't really want to take the chance on us uh, I was thinking about like possibly going the angel investor route write me up a business plan and you know I don't know why I've been so scared of doing that like I ain't like before all of this you know I mean like I didn't go to school for business and darn gone got a concentration in marketing so it's like if anybody should know how to do this shit off the real, it should be me. But you know, it's one thing to to get taught about business; it's another thing to actually get into the darn on business, especially during these types of unprecedented times where you're going through a pandemic and all of that. So yeah, y'all, a lot of work for me to do on my end. So y'all pray for me. Feel free to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all soon with more videos. If y'all want to be abreast of more of the things that go on in Diva Wan's life outside of the laser hair removal and the skincare, definitely go over to the Diva Wan channel. This is over here, Diva Natural Wan, where we tend to keep things a little bit more skincare related. But like I said, every once in a blue moon, I will throw in a little bit of vlog over here to give y'all a little sample of what y'all could expect over at the Diva Wan channel. So that is it, y'all.